Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for August 13th to August 19th, 2018. So um, after the tarot reading we're going to as well do a Lenormand reading for the week for Pisces. But before that let's go to the four card spread of tarot. Now the first position will uh, refer to the topic for you Pisces for the week. The second position is um, displaying the core of the situation or uh, what is the reason of the topic. The third card represents the challenges that you have to overcome here for the duration of the week. And the last card represents the guidance that you should adopt. Uh, now let's see what you do have here for a topic first, shall we? Now that is going to be the Queen of Swords. Uh, this is very tenacious card. Now the Queen of Swords as a topic represents the search for an information most likely. Because this is the strength of that Queen being forewarned, knowing all possible unfoldments of uh, one situation, career-wise or relationship-wise, you know. Because the lack of, uh, you have that poignant experience of the lack of information and you, you don't want to experience that, uh, that again. So this card could resemble a um, finding a better way, you know, to cope with a certain project, you know, opting your options available to improve your state into your career as well, you know, uh, trying to find a way, for example, why you are not getting very well along with your boyfriend or a, or a girlfriend or just on the contrary, even if even if it doesn't make any sense, you know, why you are getting along, along with them, etc, etc. So that week is going to be a week where you will make a thorough research of how you can be capable to push your things through. Very important here. Now with the Queen of Swords um, you have to be, uh, you will be objective, alright? I mean the information that you are going to come around um, with, uh, it's, uh, it's very valuable information. And don't forget, Pisces, that information is the second high, highest currency in the world. What is most expensive than information, this is health, all right? So, um, this week, for you as a topic, uh, it is that you will come, uh, you will come to a, a very important conclusions, all right? Something that is going to give you aces, something that is going to give you the upper hand here upon a certain situation. And some people could use that information, you know, if you are a mean Pisces, you can use the information for extortion, you know, or just to subjugate a, a certain person to your will and, you know, make them do what you want because otherwise that information could see the white world and then they're not going to like it. But in general, this is about research of how you can make the best approach possible toward your career or toward your relationship. And the core of this is the Knight of Cups. So that card kind of points that um, at this particular moment as a core, you either know that you can improve things much more than they are right now or you are finding yourself not very happy of how the situation unfold, realizing, uh, is unfolding, realizing that it is in your hands uh, to improve it but because you don't want to uh, make any you know stupid moves and you don't want to make any um, unnecessary risks as well, take unnecessary risks and uh, you know, in general, uh, make the right steps moving on forward. That's why you will kind of like start digging up. And it is likely with these cards that you can dig up some dirt for certain people. I mean, it's it's very, very possible here because also the cups are about intuition and uh, your intuition is going to guide you. So guys, when you kind of like sense that there is something wrong with a certain situation, either regarding career or either regarding relationship, you have to put it under uh, under questioning seriously, and you need to kind of like start seeking that information, it, which is eluding you here in um, in this particular situation, because it is very vital. Now the Queen of Swords does not bother kind of digging up the dirt for the dirt itself. It is a, about uh, such kind of a, a knowledge, you know 
which is going to open you doors. So uh, that will be the, your occupation for the duration of the week. Of the week, trying to figure out to figure out what is really going on into your relationship uh, in, and into your career and how you know you can improve uh, your uh, your positions in there. Then we do have the challenges and with that will be the six of cups so uh, that is another confirmation that what you're going to learn it's uh, you're not gonna like it in general it's not gonna give you any pleasure at all but that doesn't make it untrue all right the six of cups it's about um, <clears throat> you know those kind of um, um, happiness in general you know and, and feeling uh, feeling satisfied of the results and not that you are not gonna feel satisfied of the results of your research it is just that your research is going to produce such results that you would rather don't wanna have or you would rather hope to be something different so that could be uh, Unfortunately, that could be coming into knowledge that you have been cheated into one relationship, coming into knowledge for something that it is rotten into your career, you know, but not something that cannot be fixed, all right? It can be fixed, but here it will come the time where you have to slam with your fistful upon the table and just, you know, do the things your way because the queen of swords is very good in bruising what i mean is that he either is going to be is going to be her way around or it's not going to be neither of the ways all right and because that is your topic here especially supported with the with the knight of cups you totally can exert your way your demands and your wishing it is just you should not be um you, you should not commiserate with people that's uh, that's unfortunate this time around you have to to kind of show your, uh, I cannot say tyranny really, but let's say um, the lack of uh, the the lack of willingness to compromise, because things have went way too far now, and there is you have compromised for so long, and there is no more room for that not any longer either things are gonna change your way or they will not go and change at all and they will be left in the past where they belong if there is no uh, satisfaction on your behalf from what is going on either regarding relationship or career and the last card here represents the guidance and it is exactly what I said that is the seven of swords that is about the opposition this is about the sense now the seven of swords points here that you have to uh, that you have to pay more attention to the small predicaments because that card displays a, a snowball so something will start for example just to give you an example so I can display it a little bit more um, thoroughly here um, Let's say that there is a rumor appear in your working place, you know, and as a rumor, not many people put attention into it. But in that particular case, as we do have these cards, that rumor will become true, all right? It will, it will turn out to be the truth. And by you don't paying attention into it, by the time you realize that it is the truth on its own accord, you know, that realization comes on its own accord, it will be already way too late to make a reaction on it and to deflect for example the attack or just manage the crisis etc etc instead as soon as you hear that rumor you have to start digging up and find for yourself you know is this true or not same goes for your relationship especially with your boosted intuition let's say that you sense that there is something wrong with your um with the behavior of your boyfriend or a girlfriend you know and instead of just um not paying attention into it and, and thinking about that it is just you know it is just this um the position of the planets or whatever you know or it's just you know that noxious feeling that has no resemblance whatsoever instead of that you should start digging up you need to start gathering up an information why 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 that feeling is stacked up within you you know why you think that way and um, it is very important however to stick to the truth to stick to the um proofs and the um the objective um flow of um yeah of um of information in general you know because uh, when you're emotional we have here uh, mentality collides with the emotions and when you are more prone to be emotional you may misinterpret something 
and as a topic it is very important to be objective about what you what what comes to your knowledge here so that is your weekly tarot reading Pisces and now let's see what the Lenormand has to say yeah you definitely not gonna like what you what you're gonna um, uh, what you're gonna learn here with the cross with the uh, the tree wow all right and with the broom and the whip so this is a, a conflict a, a big time conflict based on the information you learn because this is a, a verbal conflict all right like a uh, arguments like scandals and it's it's not going to give you any pleasure at all as a matter of fact i think looking at these cards that is going to be uh, that is going to be provoked or rather is going to concern someone that was the least the, the, the person the least that you have expected that is going to kind of like be involved in such a thing but actually uh, this information that you're going to come ab uh, about with is going to uh, create a long-term conflict or kind of like a long-term um, rivals enemies or whatever so you're going to realize that someone that it is so-called best friend of yours or uh, a very loyal supportive or whatever it is just doing their bidding behind your back they're pulling the strings they are exerting surreptitious intentions and actions behind your back and the dirt that you're going to dig up for them and for people that also are involved in the situation will give you enough leverage to basically um, push the things through but also is going to kind of win you some enemies that you did not want it and basically you you did not expect it that um, these people are, uh, are are so sneaky you know i mean when you when you realize that you will say really man i mean uh, i don't know i you will say i don't know what you're gonna say in reality it's just it will be excruciating it is just i want you to prepare for it i mean uh, you will say how could you you know i trusted you etc etc but that's life guys and uh, i hope that um this uh, Lenormand reading kind of refers to something negligible as Lenormand cards are very personal cards, all right? They're, they are meant for a, a personal reading. And when looked generally, they could refer to something very big, but they could refer as well to something very negligible. That could be that you will dig up a dirt for a person that, uh, you know, that you are in a usual uh, bad relationship with. All right, and it's just that information that you're gonna dig up for them. It's gonna amuse you even more how um, how senseless, how senseless, and uh, how big sociopath these people are. You know, it may not refer to someone that you have trust in. So be careful about what kind of an information you dig up. Information is power, but also power comes with great responsibility and consequences as well. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly Tarot and the Norman uh, reading for uh, August 13 to August 19, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.